to GIT, Hollywood, California, baby. I uh, just want to talk a little bit with you guys about hybrid picking today, and that's just basically using the pick and the fingers off your right hand. A uh, good way to get started is just using the pick and the middle finger, for those of you that are kind of new to the concept. Um, I just want to give you a little something right out of the A minor pentatonic scale. Okay, well, we're starting uh, on the fifth fret of the A, and I'm going to pick it actually with my middle finger here on my right hand. And then we're going to go to the fifth fret of the E, which I'm getting, getting with the pick. So, okay, got a little interval jump there, fourth. Now we're going to go, same thing here, seventh fret on the A, and the eighth fret on the E. You can see I'm playing right out of the A minor pentatonic scale. We've got for the basic four note pattern. Okay, now I'm going to continue to climb the scale. So you can see I'm getting fifth fret on the D, fifth fret on the A, seventh fret on the D, seventh fret on the A. That's just right up the A minor pentatonic scale. It gives you a little like cool interval jump. Very, you know, I guess most of them are fourths. Okay, something I like to mess around with when I'm playing on the pentatonic scale is doing a little bit of displacement. Um, getting outside by playing up or down a half step. Okay, so I'm going to do that same exercise, but on the second group of four, I'm going to move up a half step. Then I'm going to move back into key. Then down a half step. And then back into key. And that exercise sounds like this. Okay, just kind of a cool way to actually sound like oh in an A minor tonality, but take it outside a little bit with a real simple concept, okay? Easy peasy Japanesey, as they say. Um, a good thing to do if you're going to work with just your middle finger and your pick is try and get into some hammer-ons and pull-offs, work into the three-note patterns. I bet most of you are familiar with the sixth patterns that people play, like in, in chicken picking, like if you're an A, instead of doing that. Uh, I can break that down for you real slow if you'd like. It's just taking the A major sixth there, the A major chord, and then I'm walking up. Again, I'm using the pick for the low notes and the middle finger to pluck the high. And that's nice because you can get some nice muting when you're in that position. Okay, now uh, another exercise to take it outside of maybe, that's kind of like a, a stock lick, I guess, that most people know, um, would be to work in octaves through like, you know, say the blues scale. All I'm going to do is just walk right up the A blues scale. And all I'm doing is using open strings and hammering down the first note, the first fretted note that is. So I'm getting that with my pick, and I'm playing the octave of that note with my middle finger. So. Okay, right up the A blues scale. Okay, um, hopefully some of that comes across for you. Um, now, if you want to get into adding the third finger off your right hand, cool place to start is simple enough, which is power chords, okay? So let's take an A power chord, and let's work on a couple patterns. Let's take third finger to pluck the 7th fret on the D string, middle finger to pluck 7th fret on the A, and then your pick to pluck 5th fret on the E. So it's A5 chord, A power chord. That's just me moving power chords around. Uh, something cool you can do with that is try going right across the four power chords in the pentatonic scale. A minor pentatonic. Okay, again, mess around with displacement, you can come up with some real funky licks. Okay, just 
Well, cool stuff, man. That's the whole benefit of doing that is you can get some like wider intervals. You know, you're not playing note to note on the same string. Um, try doing that same stuff that I was showing right there, but with a four note pattern. That was obviously a three note pattern. So let's take that same A power chord and let's try and go like this. Ring finger grabbing the seventh fret on the E D. Then I'm gonna play A, fifth fret on the A. Now middle finger is gonna catch seventh fret on the A. And then I'm gonna pick the fifth fret on the E again. There's the four note pattern. Yeah, so try moving that through that same thing, through the pentatonic. Or, you know, just move power chords. Around. some wild sounding riffs and don't limit yourself to leads with that stuff it's really cool for rhythm ideas you know you can uh, invent some really cool unique riffs that way let's try that same thing but instead of doing a power chord let's go one five nine okay so here's the three note pattern again I'm kind of thinking A minor this whole time so all this stuff would be in you know if you're whatever dude jamming over A minor Okay, just uh, you can see right there I did a little bit of displacement up top. Cool, I don't know if you guys know diminished as well, it's real nice for that. some of that's useful for you. Yeah. <laughs> Try it again, you know, with the four note pattern as well that we talked about. Going like this with the third finger pick. Okay, nice ugly stuff, baby. No ballads there. Uh, uh, oh, another cool thing with that, try with uh, just two octaves. So I'm taking A, and here this would be the three note pattern. So try moving through a scale, you know, like uh, let's just say for example, um, A harmonic minor, just to make it fun. this for a little like wide interval thing. I'm taking that same octave idea. I'm going to go down a half step with it. And then to the next string. Um, love that. It's just a descending wild leg. There's some good blues stuff in there. Okay, finally, let's try and get a couple things in real quick with the pinky. Jude, don't cut me off, man. They're going to love this stuff. Um, anyway, what I'm going to do here is just show you using the pick, middle, third, ring finger, and pinky off the right hand, okay? Just real simple, stacking two power chords. So this is A5, okay? If I'm just going Just right up. Um, well, let's reverse that. Just take the A5 and start on the high note. So I'm starting with my pinky on the right hand. You can see I'm getting the 12th fret on the E, picking it with my pinky, 10th fret on the B with my third finger, 9th fret on the G with my middle, and then I'm picking the 7th fret on the D. interval stuff. Um, also, if you wanted to work on maybe a pedal tone type thing with that same, let's take that A5 and let's go like this. Let's go high note. Okay, picking it with the pinky, of course. 12th fret on the E. All the way to the low note. And then I'm picking 10th on the B with my ring finger. Back to my low note here with the pick. And then 9th fret on the G with my middle finger. So that sounds like this. Okay, 
sounds like a sequence or something. Like is that a sequence? <laughs> And then uh, I started this by showing a little lick that's just um, working right up an A minor arpeggio. Okay, I'm also going to add a couple other intervals in there. So technically, it's A minor nine. Um, I'm going right up the A power chord here, starting with pick, middle, third finger in terms of on the right hand. Okay, I'm uh, going to fret it a little differently because of what's coming up here. But you can see how I'm playing the seventh, ninth, and tenth frets. This is the same place we've been with the other exercises the last few. Now I'm going to cross over here to the seventh fret on the high E, and I'm plucking that with my pinky. Okay, and I'm just going to do a quick hammer on the pull off, and come right back down. Now what I'm going to do is just change the top note. Instead of doing the hammer on to the eighth fret, I'm going to do it to the tenth. Okay, simple enough, right? And then let's try the twelfth. So we've got for an outlining an A minor arpeggio. Okay, and then I, uh, when we started this off, I just moved it up to C and did a C major. So instead of hammering on, that's what would make it minor right there. You can hear me making it major. So basically I'm going 10 on the D, 12 on the G, and 13 on the B, going pick, middle, and third here with my right hand. Okay, the pinky is plucking the 10th on the high E. Quick hammer on to the 12th fret, hammer on pull off. Oops. And then the, the hammer on would change from the 12th fret up to the 14th. It's outlining like a, a C Lydian type thing, C major, you're getting the sharp 11 there. That's E minor. Okay, cool. Hopefully some of that stuff helps you out. That's a little hybrid lesson for me, Joel Hoekstra. Thanks a lot, Jude Gold, Guitar Player Magazine.